What's up guys, Maniac Simmer here bringing you some more Democracy 3. I'm going ahead and give you a little notice. These episodes that I've been recording lately have all been in bulk. Um, I recorded them all in one day, just like this episode as well. So if I miss something, you know, I'm not really going to notice it until a little bit later. But I'm trying to record these episodes so I don't have to record daily. So recording episodes now allows me to upload throughout the week without having to come home necessarily every day and record. So I find it a lot easier to do it this way. Uh, micro generation grants. What is that? Uh, boy. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that can be done. Art subsidies makes capitalists unhappy for some random reason, but it also increases tourism and education and liberalism. So, you know. Hmm. Sometimes I don't read those. <laughs> Sometimes I really don't read those. I'm not even going to lie. My opposition is a lot smaller this time around. I feel like I've done a good job. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. So crime has dropped under my presidency. Car usage has also dropped. The environment is doing better. Health is up. Poverty is down. Education is up. International trade has fallen off, though. That might not be a good thing. Foreign relations, though, are somehow up. You know, I don't really know how that works out. Racial tension is down. Poverty earnings are up, but the GDP has fallen. Uh, tobacco usage uh, is down. Traffic congestion is also down. Wages are up, which is good. I think that people need to be able to get money. <laughs> so there's been an earthquake. GDP is falling. Let's see. What can we do here? To help our GDP. The global economy is the major factor of this though. Because I can't do anything really about the global economy. That's not really. I can't really do anything there. So I'm thinking maybe get rid of the capital gains tax. Possibly because it's not. Hmm. Or at least lower rate. Because I don't. we don't really need the money right now anyway. Other kind of helps with the quality. But still you know whatever. Gotta help the GDP in some ways. Gotta try and make everybody happy in any way that I can. Oh boy. Wow. I love how it said our GDP is severely reduced, but it's going up. Unemployment is rising for some reason. Hmm. How can I decrease unemployment? Oh wow. Why did I not do this? I feel like that was the first move I've always made in every one of the, every time I've done this, I've always funded science. Wow. I can't believe I didn't fund science. <laughs> Agree to quotas, unemployment's dropping, let's look at our money situation, not that. Charts, we still have a $3 trillion reserve. I don't think I need to change too much yet. The middle income, income tax, property tax, inheritance tax. You know what? I think I'm going to start getting rid of taxes because I don't even have property tax anymore. I might as well go ahead and get rid of it and go ahead and increase income tax, sadly. Oh, I don't have enough capital. Perfect. That is amazing. I love that. I don't like, I, I seriously have stated this multiple times. I don't like the cabinet. I find the cabinet to be the most stupidest thing ever. They don't do anything. They just sit there and criticize you all the time. Hmm. Hmm. I really should have said allow the march, to be honest. Because that really affects me in a certain way. Oh boy. Our, our, our income is going down. Uh, taxes, taxes. <laughs> I really got to think of a better way to do this. Other than increasing taxes though. I have to. It's, it's really necessary. Oh, okay. Budget surplus of $100 Because I, I really like to keep the reserves intact. I don't like to let the reserves fall too low. Because we all know that if re if you have reserves are good and a deficit and a debt is bad. You don't want a debt. You want 
surplus. You want more money than you can even imagine. Let's see, pass that law. 100% approval rating. GDP is rising pretty fast, actually. Can we go ahead and get rid of capital? Nah, that gets us $100 billion. I mean, you know, <laughs> there are some things that money is very heavily involved in and you must keep intact, <laughs> like income tax. So let's see, maternity leave? Yeah, yeah. The reason why I do that is because, I mean, it's kind of, isn't that already a thing in America? The only reason I don't like it is because it decreases um, productivity, which also causes certain problems. And it kind of, yeah, the higher productivity thing, you know, and productivity is going to be falling with maternity leave. So it's like, ah, you know, I got to find certain ways to do certain things. So the GDP is steadily rising. <laughs> Stephen Powell, like I said, my cabinet is always still, you know, the cabinet's always upset for so, for no random reason, you know. If if I had a president that had a $3 trillion reserve, I'd be the happiest person. I'd be the happiest American ever. But these guys don't care. <laughs> They're like, nah, you don't support the people that we support when everybody's basically orange and green. Fam, you rattlers? No, I'm just kidding. But thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will be trying to record and upload more in the future.